Hey guys, welcome back to another one of my insane videos. This is about comic books, so if you're looking for a different video, wait till the next one, or the one after that, or something like that. I'm in the mood to film some stuff, so so in the next couple days you will see some output. I promise you that. Just got back from the gym, drinking my little protein drink. From Picked up some medication. Busy weekend. Busy day. About was it almost a what two or three weeks ago. I bought a case of these. I put it in my refrigerator downstairs in the basement, and naturally some of it froze. So I got like a slushy protein drink. But anyway, I went to three stores this week. I went to three stores this week, and um, I bought some books. Two stores today, one store Thursday, I believe. Was it Friday? Don't know. Don't remember. Oh, well. So, without further ado, the first book I bought was X-Men Legends number two. Drawn by Brett Booth, one of my favorite artists from the Image era. He always draws these little sleek characters. Written by Fabian Nexiza, Nexiza, something like that. One of the famous writers of the 90s. Wrote a lot of stuff. Captain America variant. 28 variant. I kind of like this one. I kind of like this. I mean, it's funny. In the past, I was a big Captain America fan, but not so much anymore. I found this one book that was kind of funny. And I couldn't under and I could not understand when I saw this. I was like, "Something's up with this." But here we go. Biden Titans. <laughs> Don't ask me. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is hilarious. And this is like the. <laughs> This is like the variants in the back, which I saw almost every variant at the store. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. Had to buy it for a joke. And so this is that time I bought this one. I went to my one of my favorite stores. As Taylor Main Man says, it's the junkie store. And I picked this one up. Amazing Spider-Man 185. Peter Parker's Graduation. I used to have this when I was a kid. And what happened was my dad definitely made sure I got this because I was a big Spider-Man fan. Still is. And one of the things he said to me when I had this book he says, see, if this guy can graduate from school, you can too. And he's and he's not even real. So I'm like, so that kind of prompted me to stay in school. From the second store that I went to today. Whatever. Heard about heard a lot about this book Shadecraft. I heard a lot of buzz about this, so of course I decided to pick it up. Don't know anything about it, but hopefully it's a, hopefully it's a good read. Heard a lot of buzz. The Courier issue three out of three. I 
Then I picked up some back issues. I love this one, Marvel Tales 85. What happens back in the day, the uh, Marvel reprinted a lot of old books, like Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man. They reprinted a lot of Spider-Man books. Classic X-Men reprinted a lot of X-Men books and Marvel 2 and 1 or whatever they reprinted a lot of stuff. So that's so this is one of the coolest ones. So I think I had this in the past. Maybe I had this in the past or maybe not. I don't know. But it's kind of cool. This one, Heroes for Hope. This was a cool book. I bought this in the past. And this is for the relief famine in Africa a long time ago. So, and, the, and the funny thing is, all the proceeds of this book was donated to the Relief for Africa. This is Arthur Adams, yeah. So it was, it was pretty cool. Found this, I said, like, "Oh man, this is awesome!" I picked that up again. And when I saw this, I said, "Gotta pick this up." Silver Surfer number one. I don't know which. So yeah, that's pretty cool. Then I went to my store. Then after the gym, I went to my store. As Taylor made man say, the clean store. Oh shoot. He calls it the clean store. <laughs> it's funny. Now, one of the things I want to talk about is I want to say congratulations to the comic vet. And the reason why I want to congratulate him is because of the fact that he got two of his grails recently. And he did a video about that. And believe me, I salute you, sir. It's always nice, it's always nice to see people in the community get what they sought after. It's always good. At the moment, I can't pull that kind of I can't pull that off right now at the moment for myself, but I'm glad you did, so I salute you. Yes, I know what I did. I did it with both my hands. Okay. Yeah, sorry, Sue, please. So I don't so what happened is I picked up Beta Beta Ray Bill. Now the funny thing is Beta Ray Bill is kind of weird because you see he went with a battle axe. He used to have a hammer called Stormbreaker. Well in the new Thor series, he fought Thor and Thor broke his hammer. Which is kind of weird because they shouldn't be able to break. But I guess, hey, I guess it's so. This is off his limited series that just came out. Been looking forward to it. I love Beta Ray Bill. I love this character. And then when I had the Marvel app, I had to read his origin story again. So that's pretty cool. Hmm. Crossover number five. So far, I'm liking this. So far, I'm liking this book. I'm liking the story so far. So I want to see how. I mean, Donny Cates. He's one of the hottest. You know, funny thing is, no matter what, some of the conservative, conservative people, comic book collectors out there talk about he, how much of a social media warrior he is, and all this other stuff. Blah 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 blah. But you gotta think about it. He's one of the hottest writers out there right now, besides Hickman. So something's doing someone's doing something, right? Silk number one that just came out. Silk number one variant cover. Is this the Inyo Khalifa cover? I don't know. Looks like that, but it's probably not. Spawn 316. Usagi Ojimbo Wandering Wandering Road. Really love this cover. Really, really love this cover. 
Now, the funny thing is, is that usually I try to pick up some others. Every now and then I try to pick up some other things too. And uh, I found this. I said, oh, I got to pick this up. X Men 183. Colossus and Juggernaut. Colossus and Juggernaut fighting in the bar. One of the strangest X Men stories ever ever written, and it's funny as hell. It's in pretty decent condition. It's very in pretty decent condition. So I was like, hell yeah, yeah, baby. Web of Spider Man number four. I used to have this. Web of Spider Man number five. I used to have this one too. And low budget. Low budget comics, low budget comics and things. Web of Spider-Man number six, Secret Wars two tie-in. I used to have this book too. Maybe still got it, but I love this book. Funny story too, if you ever. So that's for you, man. And that's it for the that's it for the comic books for the week. You know what? Tell you the truth, you know what? Let me do one other thing. So, about a couple months ago, I found two books that I was looking for forever. Backlash Spider-Man, the two-part series. Written, I forgot who wrote it. Uh, Ruffner, written, drawn by Brett Booth. Who was also doing X-Men Legends right now. So, this is where he started off from. This is where he's in. That's This is where he's at right now. These I bought these two for eight bucks, not eight bucks a piece, but eight bucks is a it's like a pack. And the funny thing is, is that I have problems with this. Story is slightly weak. One of the things about Image Comics, they had some great artwork, but sometimes their stories was weak, very weak stories. This is the clone Spider-Man Ben Riley, so it is not Peter Parker. So I was like. Nurr. That was one thing. The, t the quick story is about it is like, well, this guy named Pike is looking for some, is looking for this girl Voodoo because she she has a symbiote, but the symbiote is vampiric. So to tie Spider Man to this, then think about this. This is not a Marvel. This is all Image. So they did an image. So Image got the rights to do Spider-Man, and, and so I'm pretty sure Marvel had a big, heavy hand in it. Especially so they didn't want to make sure their characters don't look so weak, and they don't. The artwork is spectacular. The artwork is really, really good. Story is kind of weak. So you get Venom, who's looking to say, "Oh, there's a symbiote. I gotta get this symbiote." Realizes that this symbiote has nothing to do with Venom. That would bring Spider-Man into the picture. Like you said. Like I said, very weak. Tell you the truth, I wish I, in a wish, I never bought this. Because what happened is, a, my favorite character from Image is ba Backlash. My favorite Marvel character is Spider Man. This should be a, a hit run class. This should be a home run classic. But this one was kind of a letdown. Very big letdown. <laughs> but I'm if you want some, if you want some book, but in my opinion, if you want some good books with some good artwork you can't go wrong if you're looking for story purposes this is good this is booty garbage another uh, and okay so right now that is it so thanks for watching fit thanks for spending this 15 minutes of your life with me for me to share with you what I've got now, if you like anything you see here, let me know down below. If you didn't like some things, just let me know down below. If you think I picked up some really cool book back issues, let me know down below. If you want to say, hey, Art, you're, you're silly as hell, let me know down below. That's fine. It's your opinion. I love your opinions. Give me a like. Give me a dislike. Share this video if you like. Like, dislike, share if you like. No, no, no. no. All right. My career as a rapper is over. But anyway, thank you very much, and I can't wait to see you in the next video.